you think aliens are real? I know this is a controversial question because it's only recently, on September 12th, during a hearing on Unidentified Aerial Phenomena (UAP), that Mexican lawmakers were shown two objects that Mexican journalist Jamie Mawson, a longtime enthusiast of unidentified flying objects (UFOs), believes are extraterrestrial bodies. Mawson stated, that these specimens are unrelated to any life on Earth. The two tiny skeletal remains were displayed in a box, each with three fingers on each hand and elongated heads. Notably, they were found in 2017 in Peru near the ancient Nazca Lines. When analyzed through carbon dating by the National Autonomous University of Mexico, they were dated to be approximately 1,000 years old. Furthermore, the director of the Navy's Medical Science Institute in Mexico stated that X-rays, 3D reconstructions and DNA analysis were conducted on the skeletons. This expert affirmed that these skeletons have no relation to humans. Many countries around the world, including Vietnam, were surprised by this information because extraterrestrial beings or flying saucers were thought to exist only in movies and were considered science fiction. Now they are being presented before entire nations, making many people, especially in Vietnam, dream of encountering extraterrestrial beings or just witnessing a UFO. Do you have this dream? Moreover, Mexican lawmakers also heard additional information from former U.S. Navy pilot Ryan Graves, who participated in hearings before the U.S. Congress regarding his personal experiences with UAPs and the subsequent stigmatization after sharing such stories. In recent years, the U.S. government has shifted its stance on publicly disclosing information about UAPs after decades of obstruction. The Pentagon actively investigates UFO sightings reported by military pilots in recent years, and NASA has even established an independent council to study UFOs. NASA is expected to discuss findings from this research on September 15th. However, this matter is not as straightforward as one might think. Mawson faced strong reactions and criticism from skeptics regarding the authenticity of the issue he presented to lawmakers. Notably, David Anderson, an associate professor at a university in Virginia, stated, to determine the age of extraterrestrial bodies, we would need to know the carbon-14 ratio on their planet, not Earth's. This seems reasonable, as if these bodies were extraterrestrial, carbon-14 dating methods would be useless. Instead, dating through carbon isotopes based on carbon atoms produced when sunlight interacts with Earth's upper atmosphere would not apply to extraterrestrial beings. On the other hand, other scientists have refuted the information provided by Mawson. According to Andrew Nelson, head of the anthropology department at Western University, some of the bodies appear to be human mummies, intentionally altered to resemble extraterrestrial beings, with features like modified feet, such as fused toes and layers of skin and soft tissue removed behind the toes, creating elongated feet. In conclusion, based on this information, it is best to verify from multiple sources if the information is controversial and not fully recognized. As for myself, as someone who loves space and believes in the possibilities of the unseen, my main question is, are we alone in the universe? It's this question that has driven humans to explore space and search for extraterrestrial life. One particular project related to this is the search for extraterrestrial intelligence, or SETI. The history of SETI is closely tied to humanity's unending desire to explore the universe and understand extraterrestrial beings. The question of extraterrestrial life has not only been depicted in ancient artwork and UFO imagery, but also in legends and oral folklore. The existence of extraterrestrial life has become a driving force for many scientists, astronomers, and space enthusiasts. SETI, an abbreviation for Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence, began to gain serious scientific attention in the 1960s. This project aims to use advanced space observation instruments to search for radio signals originating from planets outside our solar system. The primary goal of SETI is not only to find extraterrestrial beings, but also to gain a better understanding of the universe around us. Throughout its development, SETI has faced various challenges, including distinguishing between signals from Earth and those of extraterrestrial origin, as well as collecting and analyzing data from numerous signal sources. Despite these challenges, due to perseverance and international collaboration, SETI has made significant progress, expanding our knowledge of space and the potential existence of extraterrestrial life.
SETI's operations heavily rely on advanced scientific instruments. It utilizes highly sensitive space observation tools, such as antennas and radio receivers, to search for and monitor signals that may come from extraterrestrial sources. The primary objective is to identify specific radio signals that cannot be naturally generated in space and may only originate from intelligent sources. SETI's work doesn't stop at data collection. Once a signal is identified, researchers must carefully analyze it to determine its source and significance. This requires close cooperation among various scientific fields. Based on modern tools, SETI can also observe and track changes in signals over time, providing a comprehensive picture of potential extraterrestrial intelligence activities. Combined with new technologies and complex algorithms, the search for extraterrestrial life is more effective and accurate than ever. Over time, SETI has recorded some promising signals and potential signs related to extraterrestrial life. One of the most famous signals was the WOW signal, a strong and clear sign received in 1977. However, its source remains unclear to this day, but it has become a symbol of the possibility of discovering extraterrestrial life. Nevertheless, along with promising signs, SETI faces a series of challenges. One of the most significant challenges is differentiating between signals from extraterrestrial sources and noise from Earth or other natural sources. Signals from electronic devices, satellites, or even natural phenomena like meteors can sometimes create interference making it difficult to identify potential extraterrestrial signals. Additionally, analyzing and confirming signals requires patience and caution. A signal may initially seem promising, but after extended observation and research, it may be determined to not originate from an intelligent source. Maintaining and expanding SETI's operations also poses challenges related to finances and technical limitations. However, despite the difficulties, the belief and desire to explore the unknown continue to drive SETI researchers to seek extraterrestrial life. For SETI to continue its growth, support from the community is crucial. Both the search for extraterrestrial life and the expansion of our understanding of the universe require financial investment, time, and research. To make new breakthroughs, SETI needs reliable and long-term funding. Not only financial support, but also participation in the research community is vital. You can join events, conferences, or even specific research projects. Your participation not only deepens your understanding of SETI, but also fosters a collaborative environment and encourages the search for extraterrestrial life. Finally, spreading the message of SETI to those around you is another important form of support. This helps SETI to continue developing and achieving its goals. We all have a role to play in the exploration of the universe and the search for extraterrestrial life. Let's work together to turn this dream into a reality.